Hi everyone. In today's session, we will learn how to create a login page uh, from the scratch. So this is the home page of Power Apps and go to this blank app. Click on this and create. So give a login form. Any name for this app and you can select whether you want a tablet or phone. Phone is the recommended one. So once you cl uh, click on that, uh, now you can start creating your app. Skip for this now. And here you can see, right, this is the canvas where we have to build the app. And under insert, you uh, insert, you can see multiple uh, controls here, label, button, text, many things. So first, let me take a label. So I'll drag and drop this one. And here you can see, right, I, at uh, right hand side, if you see, you can see the properties of this label. So I want to remove this text. I don't want to display any text. And then I want to add some uh, background color for my page. So I am taking some color here. My app color. And I want to give one heading for this uh, page. So let me add a label again. So here I can give some text here. Login page. And you can change the, uh, so this is highlighting, right? This you can send it back. In the align, you can send that. Uh, right click on this. Send backward. Now for this login page, you can change how you want, right? The font, uh, text, the font size, everything you can change accordingly. And how you the alignment you want everything you can select accordingly and uh, I want to add one logo also for my page so I will insert one uh, image as well so here uh, you can see right multiple options available here you can go media and you can select one image so once you select this So here you can right click and uh, here you can select instead of none, right? Add a image file you can select. And here I have this KSR logo. So I'll add this. This is KSR's login page. And I want to add the username and password uh, text boxes. So you can align this, right? Adjust, you can adjust however you want. Uh, the screen you can adjust accordingly. This you can align it to uh, reorder, send backward. Then you select this one and you can adjust accordingly. Now let's uh, add a username and password now. Here add again the label. Uh, two labels I want actually. So this is one label for username and one more label also I want for password. So I'm adding that. So here in the properties pane, you can give instead of this text, what exactly you want to show. That is username. And you can change if you want to uh, highlight this, right? And here also you want to give the password. Here also you can change the font and size accordingly, however you want, right? You can add that one. You can adjust this. And then 
So these are the labels, right? We have to read username and password from the end user who is logging to the page. So I have to uh, add some text boxes as well here. So you can add this one. Text input. We have to read input from the user, right? So this is one text uh, text input for username. And also I want to add one more. One more text input I'll add. This is for password. So you can adjust, okay, however you want the height width of that uh, boxes, you can uh, arrange it accordingly. So here is the properties, okay, here you can explore like uh, all the properties for this. Uh, text box, what all we can change, how colors we can fill, what kind of text we can give, uh, you can explore from here. So in username, I want to give um, hint text uh, instead of this default text, right? I can write, I can use some hint text like enter your username. So it will appear here so that when the user we are giving a hint to the user that OK, start typing your username here and for password also similarly we can set instead of default text. We can give them some uh, hint text. Enter password. So once they enter this, there should be two buttons, right? By either to reset this one or to um, log in. Login or submit the details. So let's create two buttons for that. So I am from the insert option only we can see this button. So I am adding this button here, one for reset, and one more button also I am adding. This is for login. So you can adjust the uh, side accordingly, size. So here instead of button, I want to show this as reset. And here instead of uh, button, I want to give this as login. So uh, this is how we can create the. Uh, so this also you can adjust a little bit. And finally our page is ready now. So this is the login page and uh, within few minutes we have created the login page. So once we have the data and everything ready, right? We can uh, give some actions also to this button. So once I enter the user ID and password, how it can check some validations with the data available in the database and then how I can move to next screens. Uh, so those we will um, uh, see in the next session. So. Now in this session, we have learned like how we can create a login page. Uh, thank you for watching and for more informative videos, please do like, share and subscribe to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. Thank you.